Hello guys, uh, we're still on SVOD Silicon Valley Open Doors Conference and uh, let me introduce a uh, very interesting person, Lilia Sherman, who uh, CEO of uh, Sherman Group and who uh, uh, managing director of uh, Golden Seeds. Lilia, can you please tell our audience about uh, your background, about uh, your experience working with startups? Sure, thanks, and great to be here at the conference. Uh, so my background starts as an engineer, but then I've migrated to the dark side uh, on the business marketing strategy. And so now I do, uh, I, I wear multiple hats. One is with Golden Seeds. I'm a managing director. It's a, a network of over 300 investors all over the U.S., and we invest in seed and A stage companies. Uh, we do require that the management team of the company be gender diverse because we believe, just like Larry Fink at BlackRock, that a diversity of experiences and mindsets benefits the company and the investors. Uh, and then the other thing I do is I lead a strategy firm called Golden Seeds. Uh, I'm sorry, a strategy firm called the Sherman Group. Um, and we work with larger companies such as VMware, Amazon, and so on. Um, as well as mid-sized firms to help them uh, become more relevant to customers and uh, design go-to-market that really resonates with their audiences. Uh, what is the most exciting part of your work? Uh, how you can describe your normal working day? Wow, well, there's, there's no normal <laughs> in Silicon Valley or in the startup world. I think the most exciting is... Um, the opportunity to see what's coming in the future by uh, seeing all these amazing startups across industry um, because really they forecast what the rest of the world will see a few years down the line. Uh, any high profile startups you can uh, tell our audience about? Well, th the two that come to mind, uh, Zine One, which does uh, real-time data stream processing and real-time response uh, based on AI. So they were just named Gartner's cool vendor for 2018, uh, and that's really exciting. Um, and then another one that's really cool is Cadenza. They are completely changing the effectiveness and safety of energy storage in lithium iron batteries for transportation and energy generation. And one question, uh, how a Golden Seed organization structure is look like? How you guys uh, interact, uh, those VC <laughs> stuff, <laughs> interact between each other? Uh, so Golden Seeds is, uh, there is a fund uh, which acts like a normal VC, VC fund, but there's also a network of hundreds of investors all over the country. And what we do is we collaborate on doing the due diligence and evaluating them, and then we team up to invest, which uh, entrepreneurs like because we keep your uh, cap table clean. Um, and then, of course, many of our members are experts, anything from legal to corporate, uh, corporate operations to entrepreneurs themselves across every industry. So by having a network of people, we can really help companies on their journey to, uh, to growth and scalability. That sounds great. <laughs> so one question, Lila. Uh, let's say uh, among our audience a lot of startups. How can uh, get some benefit uh, from your company? How can uh, they uh, get some uh, seed fundings or maybe A round fundings? Can you please explain how this what, what steps they have to do to get funding from any VCs? So I'd say... Um, First of all, most entrepreneurs think about fundraising as uh, they're out there asking investors for money. Um, I would switch that a little bit to think about who do you want to collaborate with on growing your company? Because when you, you know, bring an investor in, whether it be Golden Seeds or anyone else, uh, it's kind of like a marriage and, and frankly sometimes lasts longer than one. Um, and you're going to go through really great highs. You're also going to go through some very difficult moments. And so when you're fundraising, first of all, do the research, talk to other founders that the uh, investor has invested in, and think about is this 
an entity, uh, a firm, and a specific investor that I want to go through all of that with. And then, of course, the other thing is when you do your research, you can find out who is really interested in the kind of companies you're building and uh, be really targeted in um, what you're presenting to each investor and be really clear about what problem you're solving for whom. Thank you. Uh, is it uh, crucial to be here in uh, Silicon Valley to get money from uh, VCs? That's a tough question. I'm a little biased. Um, I would say there are a lot of um, centers of innovation and uh, investing, uh, and it's a, a good thing to have it be more diverse in Silicon Valley. Um, but at least coming here and visiting us is important because there's nothing like a face-to-face -face meeting with an entrepreneur to really understand whether you want to work with them. So uh, you don't have to be based here, but come visit us. So guys, welcome to the Silicon Valley. <laughs> Thank you for the answer. And one more question. Um, let's say, let's imagine we have a company in Belarus, uh, which is startup and they are looking for investment. Uh, shall they come here first and set some legal entities before they go and ask, uh, go to the VCs and ask them for funding? So, uh, you know, investors uh, all have very different preferences and there are many investors that will invest internationally. Generally, if you're in a geography, whether it be Belarus or uh, anything else that might not be as familiar to American investors, I think it helps, it does help to have an American U.S. entity so that there are no questions about... Um, you know, cross-border deals, cross-border technology transfer, um, you know, currency fluctuations and so on. So, yeah, generally it helps. Thank you. Um, one more question regarding to your assessment. You mentioned that you guys are uh, doing uh, due diligence prior to invest, but uh, how you usually measure uh, in percentage, uh, let's say, this company cost one million dollar from your perspective, from your point of view, and uh, you, uh, wh what is the maximum you can invest to, to the company? So there's a couple of things we consider when we look at evaluation. I think that's what you're asking about. Uh, one is there are, when an investor invests, we're looking long term. So we're not just looking at the current round and the current valuation of the company. We're looking at how much more money will the company need going forward to fund it all the way through the exit. Um, and so what we want to do is value it in a way that is appropriate for now, but also sets up the company to be able to raise more money later to keep the founders engaged and interested. So we don't want to dilute them to the point where, you know, in subsequent rounds they simply aren't interested anymore. Uh, because they are the lifeblood of the company. Um, so as an entrepreneur, I would say uh, be ready to th think about and articulate your plan, not just for the current round, but for subsequent capitalization needs. Uh, because that's uh, we're kind of doing a backward calculation when we think about how much to invest at what valuation now. Thank you. Uh, I guess helping startups to raise money on next stage. So please tell about this. Uh, so Golden Seeds does quite a bit of it. Uh, we invest in subsequent rounds ourselves. Um, and w uh, all investors, not just Golden Seeds, but us definitely, uh, we have a lot of relationships with other angel groups, uh, VCs, uh, corporate VCs, and uh, you'll find that, uh, at least in Silicon Valley, a lot of the investors collaborate and syndicate rounds amongst themselves uh, to make sure that our companies are capitalized sufficiently to move to their next milestone. Thank you. And uh, one question regarding to our audience, how they can reach you to uh, get some investment or to be at least considered to get in them? So Golden Seeds has a website, surprise, surprise, goldenseeds.com. 
Uh, there's a lot of information there about our process. We also do office hours uh, in New York, in Boston, here in Silicon Valley, uh, in Dallas, in uh, Southern California, in Atlanta, because we have so many people. We also do virtual office hours, uh, and that's a no-pressure way to just get some feedback from investors. So if you're a company with a diverse management team, uh, you can go on our website and sign up either to pitch if you feel you're ready or to uh, just come in and let us uh, give you a little bit of input. Thank you. I found this information very valuable for our audience. And what's your opinion about this conference? Wow, well, Swood, uh, I, I've been here for numerous years and it's exciting to see how it's grown. Uh, amazing mix of both entrepreneurs, uh, investors, uh, folks from the local business community. Uh, and I think uh, the organizers do a great job of bringing everybody together. So uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. Good luck.